้องกดจบต้องสนุนจำแรกประกาศผลต่อไปจำนวนการในเตะพิธีสามนาคาในมวลหนึ่งตลอดพิธีการจุนเตอร์กรมเมจวีนอมกรมนางดาวมดังรอบรอบนี้องค์จำแรกสมทวีการตอบเตือนหนึ่งสมนมสมนาสมระบบเมจวีอันตรายชีตกาปิกรายลูกนุ่งเชี้ยกาปีมุสมปรกมิงเปียปอนจนหนึ่งปฏิจจรักในไกจำนวนการสามนาคาพิพิสาดิดาวสดับสักไหกรรมเดียมดิงเดวิดเชิดเลอเอาจมดาสมจมริบลูกมิตรวีให้นังกระโดดจะเพียกีดเตจิตได้ถ้าดำเนินการในการจับใจเรื่องปฏิจจรักมันเมนเฮียสมัติกิจระบบอังจุนจมดาสลาตะโบงตุตีเพียทันเดินขนมกาจับใจระบบอังกับเพียบกรุบกรองตลากาให้ปัญหาที่ปีคือตามบัดวิสาวได้ยิงบานเพื่อกลมอันนี้ตุ่มดองเฮีการได้ทัวร์ชาปีนี่คือมันจะอาจจะทัวร์เตอร์บานตัวที่นั่นคือเตรียมตีระยะปีมุ้ยแต่เรื่องบานหลอดตัวตัวปัจจัยตัวใบยานากระดอยก็ผสมสนองโป๊ดอลคางองค์พิบกรุ๊ปกรองตลาดกาสมจุ่มรุ่งในการจำนาคาในการทัวร์ปฏิจจรักนี่นำใบบานการแต่ชับการแต่ละอ้อนำใบบำราดอลไกรตะการระบบพิกีเดียบป้อนนักเรือกระดินี่ให้เติมเติมบันทีพองได้คือเอาอย่างเดียวกับสมจมเรียบรุมลึกดอลพิกีพองได้ถ้าสดแต่เมียนบกกับลึกจมดุยกาที่หนึ่งคลุนโดยเฉพาะคือคราวปีปฏิจจรักก็ไปยืนไอเมียนรัดเพียบโครงการทุกการกัดตราบันตรมตรึงที่เจียอัตเตปรมาตามในไอทุกตัวบันดำไปไอเมียนรัดเพียบโครงการบุ๋มร้าในตึกได้หนึ่งกูบุ๋มน้องในกันปีเพียซาระบอกยืนโครงการริบจอมสมดุยเจดามปัจจิปตอสมกุลปิติกาจุนเตอร์กรมเมตบีนมกนมนางดำบังรับเป็นมณีดำใบปตอกาตั้งสมรสดังดาวจิปูเป็นเนจุนเมียนสมจึงสมอกุลลูกปทินจุบัดสมกรุบลูกปทินหนึ่งลูกลูกใส่เจ้ากรมเป็นจังอังสักนาคาจิตีกรุบเลือกทีปีสมจุนบิสุลูกทิพย์ชันเลอร์ปัตตอติดนี่คือขยมสมปัตตอสมนูระบอกขยมปีเป็นสมรภูมิสาหาไฮตรองนี้เจมวยหนึ่งสมนุษย์แต่ต้นเจมวยหนึ่งกับบรรจุนลูกเอียงสิริเตาเนื้อเจมวยประบาดสมรภูมิเป็นนรกดำเนินเนื้อไปกลางพิชนามปานรัชสมุยสมนุษย์ขยมสุธาโกลกาหรือกับโกลนิโยบายได้เทวรางเป็นนุตาวิซีสงวะขณีหรือก็เจียกำนึกดูพระดามกตุกเจมุนระบบปกมณีการเชียกรอยเปลได้การกับประเทศการเชียแตงมูได้ดุเตได้สาในขนมนี้ชิมาสมเลือกลางของปีไอเกษาไอเอสประมุ้ยจัดปีไฮเดมิเอนอีออนเชียพิสาขมัยเลดโซนโซนโซนเลดประมปีเลดปีเลขบุญเลขโซนหนึ่งเลขใบอีอ่าอันจีบซองเคล็ดเลขโซนโซนเลขปีเลขบุญเลขบุญเลขปีเลขปรมปีเลขบุญหรือตัดดอนเลขโซนโซนปีเลขบุญเลขบุญเลขปีเลขปรมปีหนึ่งเลขปรมใบแต่ขนมไอกิซานี้สดายปีกาขดับหนึ่งอนุวัตมีกินโยบายประมูลกำลังระนาดเซประจีจประจีเธอปตัยระบอปะจอนทั้ไงตีมาพายปีใครประบุญชนะมาปอนประบุญแล้วจัดสปรัมแต่ขนมนี้จะต้องจมูกหนึ่งเรื่องนิมระบอปบาทสมัยเป็นนรกอมเสียนุตรังตมปอติบุญแต่จังหวัดจังหวัดไทยอีอ่อันเจี๊ยบสาขมาเล็กโซนโซนโซนตมเปิลปีบุญโซนใบใหม่ใหม่นี่คือครั้งนี้บ้านจังหวัดสมอันเจี๊ยบสาขมาคือตีปีจับปีจมหน่อยใส่หนุก่อบ้านดับบ้านดอยกัดขมิ้นเอาไว้เตียงอ่อเตียงเซตกิ๊กเตียงอ่อมนายโดยฉะนั้นเราต้องนับยื่นแต่งส่งเ
ียงซอมเพียรเตียงนโยบายบาเปรียบเทียบกัดตัวนึงอติปุลกัดนเมียนอติปุลเจียงเนตตีปีมุนยืนเฮียนถ่าบาเจงปียืนกัดเตาสลับดอลไอเล้าเจียงกระดับกัดบานจันเจียงมุนดอยยืนชนะขมังยืนเมียนเอาไว้ไว้ต่างอ๋อเอาไว้ก่อนเอาเลยยืนรอฮดดอลแวงก่อจีแวงยืนก่อนตายยืนดำนาคาจีมวยกัดบานสุลปัจจุบันกัดคืนถ้ากัดเนื้อจีมวยยืนบานบ่าวปนังกัดเป็นจัดหายเอาแต่บ้านเราขนมปฏิคละเตากราปฏิคละนี่เจียสะพิบกาได้เป็นเยเปลเอายืงปุ่งเรื่องหนึ่งปุ่งริกกำลังยืงบ้านบ่าวทั้งไงกลายกัดปลายปลุลยืงปลอดโดยกัดบ้านเตาหนึ่งกรอมอคือจุดไอ้ขมิ้นนนาทวีไอตีดอยขมิ้นกาจิจับดิฉันสมรู้ขย่มจังสัวลูกศาสตราจาร์ธาโกลนโยบายได้ปะกุมนิกามปีเจียแต่โตงอมปีสมนัวปีทนายตรังมาถ้าบรรจุนโลกเอียงสิริแต่เราจะมวยสมได้เสียนุตากุมนิตหรือก็บ่มนองหรือก็เจตนาหรือบ่ปะกุมนิกามปีเจียปีเปรนุตัวนังรมรอบปฏิกามปีเจียบ้านโดยขบานเลือกไอสานิคือเกิดกรงตุกจิมุนดำใบโยกตายสมได้เสียนุเจียคายหรือก็เจียนุยจังได้ตกาโยเคยบ่โลบานI think the official word in 71 would have been liaison, and that's certainly the way that i n g s u r i would have described his task when he was there. But what the actual intentions were, it's impossible to say. So I won't. เรื่องจะทำปีบาลบังรูปบังรูมเชียร์การปีเชียร์ดำเนินสมัยพิจารณาความเสียนุเชียร์ปฏิเสธต่างปีต่อสู้จับพิจารณาปอนปมบุญโดยจัดสัปดาห์จัดสัปดาห์หนึ่งกระนั้นเสริมรัฐเชียร์การปีเชียร์ได้ยังหาทางกรมขมายกับความนุตายลูกอาจจะเรียบองศาบรรดาการบันเทิงท่าการจ่อจ้ากระดอยหรือก่อการโปร่งเปลี่ยนขณีมุ่งไปรวมดอกยกปฏิการปีเชียร์บานนกนงชนะมาปอนปมบุญโดยจัดสัปดาห์นุตาปราบาทสมัยนรดามเสนุหรือก็รีจรทาปีบาลบังรูปบังรีบบังรูปบังรวมจิตการปีจีลูกดังท่านโยบายเราบอกกรมระนาดเซรมราจิตการปีจีหรือก็กรมไมโครฮอมนี่มีแผนการหนึ่งมันตัวตัวโยกระบอรีจีนโยมได้หรือตเราไม่สามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถที่จะกล่าวถึงสิ่งนี้ในภาพภายนอกได้แต่เราสามารถขยมบาดบานจุดหนึ่งปฏิจิปรวัตได้จีจุนรงครัวในระบอบการปฏิจิปฏิจิตตัวไต่ขยมบาดก็สมอนุญาตลูกเทียน
គឺជាកាបកប្រាស់របស់ខ្មែរក្រហមឬក៏ In a way, it was both. I mean, it was a genuine appeal. It was his voice. It's something, an appeal he's admitted uh, making. I don't think he was given full uh, uh, authority to write the actual text himself. Uh, but this is, again, a supposition. I'm sure he was not told by the Khmer Rouge, say anything you like. This was a controlled speech. Wasn't quite, in fact, a trick. I see why you've asked that, but it was more like, I think, to give the Khmer Rouge some credit, a, a recruiting tool. They, I, I think they knew that the prince retained a lot of popularity in the countryside, and they thought that they could get more support by joining the front that has just been by secretly <laughs> joining the front that had just been set up in, in Beijing. Uh, this turned out to be the case. We still don't know, and I said this this morning, how many people uh, heard the, the appeal, how many people obeyed the appeal, how many people, once they had gone into the Mackey, uh, found that the situation was not something that pleased them and left, how many were executed. You can say some people at each one of those stages. We, some people heard, some people accepted, so on. But we can't say how many or how effective it was. Uh, certainly, there is evidence in 75 that the coup enraged uh, some uh, of the rural population sufficiently so that they could storm into, I think it was Kompong Cham, and assassinate um, Long Nol's brother there, who was considered to be you know, part of the problem as the brother of the man who's. So there was certainly anger there. How long that anger lasted, how well it was mobilized, I can't say precisely. <coughs> ផែនការមុននឹងវិរំដោះយកប្រទេសកម្ពុជាមុនឆ្នាំ <coughs> ក្រោយពេលដែលរំដោះប្រទេសកម្ពុជាបានគឺតតងជាមួយនឹងស្រីសម្រេចចុះថ្ងៃទី <coughs> នៅក្នុងឯកសារអាយអេសលេខ ជំលៀសប្រជាជនចាញ់ពីទីក្រុងទាំងអស់ទីពីរលប់បំបាត់ផ្សារទាំងអស់ទីបីលប់បំបាត់រូបពៃវត្ថុក្នុងរបបលន
đòi ai hô bài rùm tì bầm pi bẩn đánh chôn chiết phía tách việt nam ở ọ tì bầm bay bùng ri con toa tam bầm đánh chi phí xe bầm đánh việt nam xong lục sạch sạch cha bỏ sài chùm bạch ni chung nông sạp nạ cam tịch bản xong chơi lục mệt vì chiết cao bếc đầy lục yên thử ý xong cuộc lục thiên khi mà mình làm một chấm toát tới cầm tay xong từ sơn đông bắc thì hạ phía ta đây anh ấy cả sàn xong prap bữa ai xong đặt ai cả sàn bị chăng nơi cảnh chợ tù tù phong hay xong prap lấy chấm bỏ lư lư lấy ở anh phong bộ bá sơn còn đặt thà anh chẳng khi mà ta mới đăng nơi ai cả sàn thì xong lục thiên nào còn và xong chuẩn bị chuẩn thọ đã khi bàn bài mình tham biên tập sát máy hay khi bàn xong chuẩn bị chuẩn ở anh đây mà đó cứ tổng phó đặc sản bát ăn ấy cứ lấy sốn sốn bảy muối trăm sốn trăm nâng lấy muối hay ai s lấy bốn cái bia mà pay trăm muối nhưng bạn miền tây phải sao không ai để tiền nhưng phải chẳng bạn thế bà chúng tôi cá mi tử vi ai bình chăng ai cả sao này lưỡi còng computer nâng tu được tu phong hàng này chờ sáu tuổi hay cua tài liệu trong tập nuôi mà lo đấy ra về riêng tập nuôi xua đòn lại chậm điến ở quạt bộ trái vì ở tận đây vì ai khóc nia rồi riêng cả sốn nuốt xanh chết đầy rìa chòm đầy phía kí là vì một vì muốn cái tăng sốn nuốt là vì khné bên tai cái bà bị bị khóc bên ní là mấy ơi tầm nông kia nông ca xua từ đó lại chìm niên sốn ao con lục thiên chẳng chỉ mát sốn xua thả tá bị bị đặc chìm bát an bàn mấy nét sa cà rồng trăm cà bên trắng chẳng mát sốn chìm liệp xua lục sa sa cha thả tá cái ạ nó vọt giang mấy tác nông bầm bầy chìm nổi nông bà <coughs> no, I'm, <coughs> I don't have any specific comments. I am reading them in uh, come on the screen. They're certainly uh, very clear, the set of policies that they set out. Uh, I think in almost every case, uh, these policies were followed. Uh, the level to which uh, law and all officials are or so were, were uh, executed has never been entirely clear. The purge, as I said earlier, stopped uh, or slowed down in uh, late 75. The other policies uh, were adhered to throughout the uh, throughout the regime, and it's interesting, as you pointed out, it hasn't been mentioned before, uh, the, uh, a set of um, paper currency had in fact been prepared for the uh, regime, uh, printed in, uh, I think in China, the, uh, for the regime, they rejected uh, using it, which suggests that the decision to abolish money may have been later than some of the other decisions that the other policies were already in place, but that's just, again, a supposition. We know the money which you could still buy in the market, <laughs> it is, uh, was never uh, circulated. ប្រតិសាពេលវេលារបស់ខ្ញុំបាទត្រូវបាយចែកឲ្យសហភាពតាខ្ញុំបាទសូមសួរសំណួរចុងក្រោយមួយទៅលោកសាស្ត្រាច
សូមពេទ្យខ្ញុំសូមកែតម្រូវឡើងវិញអេកសារដែលនៅក្នុងសិភោសំលេងពីមន្ទីសមភ័យមួយដែលមានអ៊ីអនជាភាសាខ្មែ
Bonjour Monsieur le Président, bonjour Mesdames, Messieurs, Bonjour à tout le monde, bonjour aux participants présentes, bonjour Monsieur euh, Je vais euh, vous poser quelques questions rapidement d'ailleurs parce que le temps nous est compté et que euh, mon confrère Olivier Baoun va prendre la relève sur des questions plus précises et plus factuelles. Je voulais tout d'abord revenir sur un, un, une question qui a été évoquée, euh, celle du secret. Euh, la politique euh, de, euh, du PCK ou euh, en tous les cas des hauts dirigeants euh, a privilégié euh, le secret. Euh, alors ma première question euh, est, euh, est celle-ci. Euh, si on a pu comprendre que euh, pendant la période de l'Union armée ou de clandestinité, euh, c'est-à-dire avant 1975, euh, il y a eu des, des obligations d'être euh, anonyme, de se cacher, euh, de ne pas se révéler. Euh, pourquoi euh, ce culte du secret euh, va-t-il continuer euh, après cette victoire unique et incomparable Pourquoi ont-ils besoin d'utiliser euh, cette façon de euh, procéder euh, euh, That's an excellent question. I think it was, uh, I would, with permission, rephrase this slightly. It certainly wasn't necessary to do this in any sense, but it was felt to be necessary by the leaders. The reason it was felt to be necessary because this is a policy that had succeeded for so long that kept all of the major leaders, all the major leaders out of uh, Senate uh, prisons. And, uh, they saw no virtue in explaining who they were, what they were doing, and a great virtue in continuing what had been for them a very successful policy. I agree it's baffling to outsiders, but that, that, that's my explanation. Merci, monsieur. Euh, également, une autre, une autre question. Euh, on a évoqué, vous avez évoqué euh, hier avant-hier euh, euh, des exemples, vous avez donné des exemples de, de cette pratique euh, du secret. Et euh, donc, les dirigeants étaient, les décisions des dirigeants étaient entourées de ce secret. Alors, euh, à contrario, vous avez également parlé euh, de la situation du peuple cambodgien qui, lui, en revanche, euh, était euh, soumis à une obligation de transparence complète à, à un, euh, effectivement euh, ne pas avoir de secret euh, pour mon cas. Euh, Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner euh, votre, votre opinion Est-ce qu'il y avait euh, quelle était la stratégie ou est-ce que c'était toujours la même stratégie, un mode de gouvernance particulier, particulier euh, au, euh, uh, that's a fascinating question. It's hard, hard to answer uh, because it's got a very interesting substance to, from my mind. Uh, the point is, I think, uh, to make uh, is that the leaders of the party were transparent to each other. And this levels of transparency weakened as you went further down the line. As I mentioned, I think, yesterday, we know pretty much for sure that all the leaders of the party prepared biographies that were examined by the other leaders of the party in self-criticism sessions demanding transparency of each other. They demanded the same transparency with no option to keep it quiet of the rest of the people because uh, people outside the Communist Party, which were forced to share this mutual transparency in study sessions, biography, writing, writing and so forth, uh, were trusted, and the rest of the people were not trusted uh, to keep secrets. They were uh, not trusted really at all in many ways. So they were uh, required to open up 
to the regime so that it could examine uh, what they were up to or who they were. But the transparency inside the party was was quite high, and this is, is one of the great ironies. I mean, the, 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 when we saw the letter from Hun, um, Hunim this morning, he knew exactly who the leaders were on the party. He knew their names. He knew how to write to them, but he was an insider. No one else in the country could have used those five names of the same facility. But, yeah, no one else outside the, the party, of course, Merci, monsieur l'expert. Euh, une petite, euh, petite question qui me vient à l'esprit. Euh, vous, vous avez prononcé tout à l'heure, vous avez parlé de l'encart, de l'instance dirigeante du parti. Euh, cette, cette création, euh, l'utilisation de cette entité euh, qui euh, euh, a été... Euh, mise en place, semble-t-il, dès, dès le 17 avril. Euh, certes, euh, vous venez de le dire, c'était une instance dirigeante, parce que se cachait derrière euh, ce, ce, ce paravent euh, les hauts dignitaires euh, du, du régime. Euh, Est-ce qu'il est euh, y avait, euh, en dehors de leur confort ou de leur sécurité, euh, un, un moyen d'instaurer, euh, d'après ce que vous avez vu, de ce que vous avez lu, euh, une image terrifiante ou inquiétante de pouvoir maîtriser la population et qu'elle soit d'ailleurs le peuple de base ou le peuple de Bourbon. Merci monsieur le ministre. Uh, yes, I certainly think it was. Uh, people were not told what Angkor was. Um, with uh, interviews I've conducted and other people have conducted with uh, survivors of the regime, many Cambodians thought Angkor was a person. The word means organization, but they thought it was, uh, was a person's name. It was, there was a, a single person behind this, an unseen person, and the, one of the sayings of the uh, survivors was, that Ankar has as many eyes as a pineapple, meaning Ankar, which they claimed, the officials claimed also, can see everything. It can see everything that's going on. We know who you are. And of course, as I said earlier in another uh, context, uh, this is the same as saying this room is filled with enemies. I mean, the listeners wouldn't know who was saying that. It could possibly be someone, probably was someone in the village a representative of the party. They might not know who that person is. People would walk around underneath their houses at night listening to their conversations. There was surveillance and control. And, but if you ask, in Cambodia, as people in the room know, is a very, how do you say, personal nation. They kept saying, who is this? No information. So it is frightening. Very unusual for Cambodia to be told, who, who's saying this? Say, I won't say. That's a secret. It's not, not normal, not natural. Merci. Um, je vais um, passer à um, un autre type de questions euh, et revenir euh, sur, euh, sur le peuple nouveau. Euh, vous avez dit euh, hier aussi ou avant-hier, je ne sais pas, euh, que le peuple nouveau était le premier ennemi euh, euh, du régime euh, dès, dès le 17 avril euh, parce que il symbolisait euh, le fait au dadisme, je vais y arriver, excusez-moi, l'impérialisme euh, 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 Est-ce que, est que ce sont les seules raisons d'avoir stigmatisé euh, ce peuple nouveau euh, d'ennemi Est-ce que vous avez d'autres explications immédiates à, à nous donner Yes, I think the simplest explanation was, uh, by definition, the new people in the towns, and these were the towns that had not yet been cleared out by the Khmer Rouge, I said yesterday, I think, several towns had already been evacuated uh, and the population driven out of, out of them, Wudong, Stung, Trang, Krachet, and uh, one other. Um, 
These people, by remaining in the towns, were by definition people who had not participated in the revolution. And since that was the only approved behavior for the Cambodian population, these people were outside that group. This made it very easy for them to be defined as an enemy, a Khmang, or a traitor, a Kabot, uh, to the winning uh, group, the Communist Party of Kampuchea. The other dimension of the, of the, and the usefulness, popularity among the, uh, in the ranks of the CPK for calling these people enemy is again something I've mentioned before, is that city dwellers themselves were named as the main enemies of the rural population. Uh, rural population were told that American bombers were coming from Phnom Penh. So people, there's lots of evidence of this. The forces that entered Phnom Penh and some of the forces and from Badabang, there's, 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 there, were extremely angry. They had been told to be angry. They had been told this was a place that was not just uh, a Western American, but a place that was out to destroy them, the cities. And so the cities were the place of the new people who were also just by definition people who had not taken part in the revolution, which makes them, in Khmer's thinking, not us, but them, in other words, enemies. ແລະຈະໃນກໍຫມາຍຄວາມຈັກຕົກທານຍາຕະງອນນີ້ຄືຈະຂະມັງ I have no information on that. I, I suspect they weren't treated very well, but uh, I, they, I don't remember that the phrase new people was in use before 1975, uh, April 75. <laughs> Euh, eu des, des détails factuels des, euh, sur les conditions euh, d'évacuation euh, de Phnom Penh en particulier, c'est-à-dire euh, euh, quelles ont été les conditions sanitaires, les conditions alimentaires, les conditions, euh, comment les, 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 la soldatesque euh, jeune a, a accueilli entre guillemets euh, cette population jetée euh, sur les routes est-ce que vous avez euh, des, des éléments et des détails euh, plus précis euh, sur ces événements cette... Cette... Pretty consistent uh, survival reports are that the conditions were awful. This was, as people know who lived in Cambodia, uh, the New Year, which is when the uh, uh, victory took place, is the hottest time of the year. There's uh, less, uh, less, less fresh water, uh, incredible temperatures. The people were flung out of the city, uh, no matter what age they were, what health they had. Uh, without uh, many possessions uh, and without any uh, sense of where they were going. I think there were very harsh uh, conditions indeed. And these conditions, of course, fueled uh, the narratives of uh, new people who, uh, when they uh, surfaced, if you like, after 1979 and came, and many of these people remembered the conditions of the evacuation, but it seems to me there are so many accounts that are not uh, contradictory and uh, that support each other, so many independent accounts, or that the uh, conditions were uh, awful. I guess what could not say this in extenuation, but it's a matter of consistency with a lot of uh, DK policies, is the feeling that doing things in a hurry was the correct way to do things. Doing things slowly was the old way of doing things. So in other words, people were not allowed a day or so to prepare. And uh, Besides, as I said in my previous answer, these people were not considered to have any value whatsoever as human beings. These were not people that the victors respected. These were people who had chosen not to join their ranks. So therefore, they would, if you find in, in, uh, in uh, 
that some of the materials in the uh, in the court documents that I read, not the, not the closing order, but other documents that I've been given to read, uh, some of the uh, officials now regret what had happened then and say that they regretted it at the time, but this regret was not widespread and it resulted in no. <laughs> No action like slow down, stop this. Uh, nothing happened at the time. It was colossally harsh from this time. <coughs> Merci. Euh, Est-ce que, euh, en bah, tant qu'historien, euh, euh, vous avez pu euh, euh, retrouver euh, des éléments comparables à cette euh, euh, triste et terrible euh, évacuation euh, dans d'autres événements historiques Est-ce qu'il y a des comparaisons possibles Je pense que c'est un peu plus de Well, again, I mentioned, uh, I think, uh, it's getting a blur, I can't remember, it was yesterday or the day before, but certainly this has a historical precedence in, uh, in Southeast Asia. Uh, the uh, report of the uh, trial on uh, Wednesday, I think, mentioned the Burmese evacuation of a, of a UT in 1767. Uh, poured all the people out. I had not mentioned that myself, but the writer knew about that. And preceding that, what I did mention, 1832, a Thai evacuation of Phnom Penh when the Thais invaded the country. So it's in a, in a kind of a tradition in Cambodia, there were elements for coming from China of partial evacuations of some cities as a sort of um, pilot program the Chinese were trying to do because they also wanted to de-urbanize in the high, high tide of Maoism, de-urbanized the, the uh, Chinese society. And we know that the evacuation of the cities was praised afterwards by Chinese officials who said, you know, I wish we could have been able to do that kind of thing, but our country is too large and complicated. But that de-urbanizing society in the declining years of Maoism was a, a great um, for, uh, an ambition of uh, communist regimes. But no, nothing as severe as this in recorded history. I can't speak for the Mongols. I don't know that they evacuated people, but uh, Alexander the Great. But no, certainly 19th century in Southeast Asia, partial things in China, nothing as big in recent memory, certainly. Merci. Euh, hier, vous avez euh, donné et euh, rappelé ce que vous avez écrit dans votre livre. Euh, quels étaient les, en, en quelque sorte, les, 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 les qualifications que l'on donnait au peuple nouveau euh, et euh, le traitement qu'il a subi euh, très, très rapidement. Je vous rappelle, on a parlé, vous avez parlé de, de la déportation, en particulier euh, de la déportation euh, en 1976 dans le Nord-Ouest, euh, le travail forcé euh, auquel a été soumis le, le peuple nouveau. Vous avez, vous avez qualifié leur situation d'esclave. Euh, vous avez également rappelé euh, que ce peuple nouveau n'avait pas le droit de vote au moment de, de la seule élection législative qui a eu lieu. Euh, vous avez, et vous l'avez rappelé tout à l'heure, euh, également dit que ce peuple nouveau était au milieu des, des dirigeants irrécupérables et que leur mort était euh, différée du régime. Et vous avez dit également quelque chose qui est marquant, euh, que euh, il y avait en fait euh, qu'après avoir consommé le peuple nouveau, Nouveau, eh bien, euh, les dirigeants étaient passés à autre chose, c'est-à-dire euh, à attaquer les cadres. Donc, on a, euh, euh, le peuple nouveau n'a pas été le seul, vous en avez beaucoup parlé ce matin, euh, à être euh, victime de cette euh, attitude du pouvoir et de euh, cette tendance à euh, Alors, la, la, ma question, d'abord, est-ce que, première question, est-ce que, il y a euh, eu euh, une volonté de destruction, euh, pas de, 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 de destruction, on peut détruire et ça tient encore le goût, mais de, de destruction du peuple nouveau. Et, euh, 
également à la suite de, 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 de cette question, c'est est-ce euh, que, est -ce que l'ensemble des traitements qui ont été infligés à, 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 ces, à, à, à ce peuple nouveau, euh, ce, ce travail forcé, cette, cette déshumanisation, euh, cette absence de droit, euh, est-ce que euh, euh, il y avait une volonté d'isoler de, euh, de, 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 ce, ce groupe de population, de le mettre à part, de, de, de le qualifier en quelque sorte, euh, je, alors qu'ils sont nationaux de, de, de non-khmer en quelque sorte, est-ce que, euh, 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 d'après ce toutes les, les connaissances et toutes les recherches que vous avez pu en magasiner, est-ce que vous avez ce, ce sentiment que vous pouvez nous donner votre sentiment sur ce sujet Je vais vous donner votre sentiment sur ce sujet. Je vais vous donner votre sentiment sur ce sujet. Je vais vous donner votre sentiment sur ce sujet. Je vais vous donner votre sentiment sur ce sujet. Je vais vous donner votre sentiment sur ce sujet. Uh, the evidence I have is that uh, there was no sy systematic intention on the part of the uh, leadership of the party to destroy the new people. This would have meant uh, killing, for one thing, killing a lot more people than they killed. It also would have meant eliminating, uh, as we know, the number of new people probably was in the vicinity of three million, two and a half million. That uh, would have uh, ruined their country. I, when I was, uh, I've been teaching the uh, history of Cambodia over the years, and uh, an image I use, it uh, probably wouldn't apply in Cambodia, but if you've seen enough American uh, uh, crime movies, I think the way it operated was what you see, a man coming into a store with a gun, and he says, everybody behave and you'll all be all right, or comes into a bank. And the ones who don't behave get shot. The ones who do behave, the employees of the bank, goes away, and they continue to do what they're doing, goes away with the money. So that, that seems to be the way it was. They threatened these people with that terrible motto uh, and showed them that they thought they were worthless. And this was a mindset that had been drummed into them uh, during the Civil War, that the people you're opposing you are, are uh, not Khmer, they're not behaving uh, decently, they're behaving barbarically. Um, but I don't sense any, any uh, it's certainly not documented that there's any intention to uh, produce what uh, Jean-Luc Couture called autogenocide, uh, to produce this effect. It was an effect that was pr produced to a large extent uh, by chance, uh, by ferocity, and by other, other things like that. Now, um, another point, the uh, clarification, of course, uh, slave, it was, labor was enforced. Labor was enforced on everybody in the country. Base people did not get out of working much harder than they had ever worked in pre-revolutionary times. Everybody worked like just a lot all day in, in the sun. Uh, slave labor was also national because there was no uh, remuneration for any labor. The point is, the, the most diff some of the most difficult work in some of those uh, inhospitable parts of the country were given to new people, I think purposely because a certain amount of casualties in those cases uh, made no difference to the regime. 10, 20 percent, that's fine. Down in the southwest where you had a, a very effective, uh, quite severe government under uh, Tamok, you have no evidence of that kind of uh, thinking that we can lose 10 or 15 percent of the people by driving them too hard. They were overdriven in these areas where the new people were because uh, but, uh, the whole country was working well, except for a handful of, perhaps a handful of people and, uh, were working much harder than they ever worked before. Now, uh, I don't also see a... Uh, Khmer was a word that the Khmer, uh, the, uh, Khmer, the DK never used. They never used this word. That word was associated with Lan Nol and with nationalism. They used Kampuchean, meaning Cambodian people, trying to avoid uh, a, a racial characteristic that uh, had so characterized Lan Nol regime. This changed in the later parts of the regime in 78, war with Vietnam. 
they start talking about the Cambodian Cambodian uh, race. And you start getting a shot, not one of these many shots I've been talking about, uh, toward a real Cambodian bodies, Vietnamese heads, they become non-Cambodian. Uh, but they never referred to the, uh, used the phrase, uh, not Cambodian, to the, uh, of the new people. Whereas Lon Nol and his regime had referred to the communists as Tamu, the word coming from Sri Lanka for Tamil meaning non-believer, which was the same effect. These people are outside my moral uh, ambit. In other words, go ahead, you can kill a non-believer the same way you can uh, kill an enemy of the people, just different terms. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, that's a very complicated issue, but I think we want, we want to, I'm certainly not able to find or, 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 or documentary evidence that there's a systemic, uh, systemic policy at the top to destroy the, the new people as a, as a group entire, as an entire group. That so many of them lost their lives, it would seem to many of the survivors, of course, that there must have been such a policy or else <laughs> they wouldn't have died. But you have to say in the Cambodia under DK, as I've written somewhere, there were six million stories. There are six million stories, and we've heard uh, some of the stories uh, are true. Uh, many of the stories uh, are true. Uh, many of the stories have never uh, been uh, told. So it's very hard uh, to say uh, they were all intended to uh, whatever. Uh, Monsieur Desper, um, ce que vous venez de nous dire uh, amène une toute petite question. Um, la dernière. Um, de Les dirigeants ont fait cette révolution pour que le peuple de base retrouve sa liberté, et sa liberté même collective, mais sa liberté. Quand on entend ce, ce qu'on venait de dire et ce qu'on a pu lire, effectivement, n'y a-t-il pas une, une trahison vis-à-vis -vis du peuple de base de la part des dirigeants that's a nice question. I'm sure that some of them did feel this. But when they talked of liberating the base people, they did not talk about liberating them from hard rural living conditions. They talked of liberating them from something that not all of them knew was the case, but some of them did and provided uh, these people provided. Uh, forces for the Khmer Rouge. This was to liberate them from the unequal and unjust social arrangements that had always characterized Cambodian society in terms of rich and poor, the haves and have not. They were have not, so they were told, now you will have. What they would have was not more freedom, more rights, more, uh, we almost say bourgeois values, more right to vote and so on. They would be free from oppression from those people. They were also less oppressed by the new leaders than the new people were because they were uh, the preferred people. But they weren't preferred in any, really in any material sense, except that you hear that food supplies were better handled in some of the areas where you had experienced Kagri and fewer new people. There was less, maybe less starvation and there was better control over uh, production. But no, the, the uh, base people were freed from uh, feudalism, which many of them had no idea what it was. They were freed from, quotations, feudalism, freed from uh, uh, oppression by the cities, which some of them felt some of them had no concern about. They didn't even know what the cities were like. So, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting question. I, you would have to have to say, you know, when they came in, did you really feel you were... <laughs> But if they were talking in material terms, they have to say no. This is all ideological. It's an ideological liberation. Not a, not a, uh, it's an empowerment without any material con uh, components, except for the ones who were given guns. That's an empowerment. You're given a gun because you're on our side. So that's a bit of material. Otherwise, not. So you can say they were betrayed from our point of view. Merci, Monsieur l'expert. J'en ai terminé avec mes questions. Je vous remercie beaucoup de nous avoir apporté des éclairements importants sur cette question. Merci, Monsieur l'expert. Merci, Monsieur l'expert.
certains peut-être mais... Monsieur le Président, euh, mon confrère Olivier Baoun prend euh, la succession des questions. Est-ce que vous ne pensez pas qu'il serait euh, opportun de suspendre un an pour qu'il qu puisse euh, développer ces questions Nous sommes très 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 Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, mes respects, Mesdames, Messieurs les juges, bonjour, Monsieur Chandler, bonjour, mes confrères, je suis Olivier Baoun, j'ai eu le plaisir et l'honneur déjà d'intervenir devant vous, Monsieur Chandler, je voudrais débuter mon euh, l'ensemble des questions que je vais vous poser par un rappel de vos citations lors de votre première audition dans le cadre du cas numéro 1 euh, du procès numéro 2. Vous avez cité Milgrams, le professeur Milgrams, à la suite d'interrogations formulées par mon confrère François Roux. Dans, euh, lors de votre citation, vous avez euh, euh, marqué un fort intérêt pour euh, l'étude réalisée par le professeur Milgram et très rapidement l'avait décrite et indiqué que finalement il s'avérait que à la suite de euh, cette étude, on avait constaté que 70% des personnes soumises au test avaient poursuivi la, euh, les questionnements jusqu'au plus haut voltage. J'ai donc, comme vous, euh, pris connaissance de cette étude et il s'avère aujourd'hui qu'il est important de tenir compte du contexte et des conditions ou des éléments constitutifs du contexte de l'obéissance. En effet, Milgrams explique rapidement qu'il est important avant de chercher une explication individuelle à l'obéissance, de tenir compte des éléments de pression exercés sur l'individu qui va obéir. Je vais donc vous présenter une série de questions pour vous demander, en fonction bien sûr de l'ensemble de vos études, de votre expérience et de votre sensibilité, si ces éléments sont des, peuvent être considérés comme constitutifs du contexte d'obéissance. ยิงยิงสรีมุ่นสมใจสมกรุบลูกเทียนลูกใส่จักรมให้สมาชิกสรายในการล้างไอ้สหพิตาบานเลิกกันในนามิตรเต็มในขนมสมนมเรื่องโ
to uh, hear them. Chạp, rom, but if they in any way call in the expertise or any post expertise of in the field of psychology or any type of clinical psychological testing like in the experiment that I will object. So I just want to make that clear before actual situations are put before Professor Chamber. Je peux répondre. Euh, à mon confrère euh, cambodgien de l'équipe de Yang Sari, euh, bien sûr, le professeur euh, Milgrams n'a pas témoigné. Euh, C'est une référence donnée par euh, le professeur Chandler lors de la conversation. Mais je vous invite à prendre connaissance donc, du document. ERN Khmer 0036-15-45. ERN anglais 0036-14-54. Pour la deuxième question qui a été posé. En effet, vous n'avez pas encore connaissance de mes questions, mais vous allez pouvoir les découvrir. Je précise que l'objectif est de déterminer l'existence et le rôle d'éléments constitutifs du contexte d'obéissance. Professeur, vous citez Toujours dans la... ตาลูกมีนมติยบอลอะไว้จมตอสตะนึงมติจมตอสตอวารบอกกรมมีตะบีกาปีกระไดลูกนวนชีได้ดิเตพรุ่มมันยังมีนกาจมตอสตอวา
de la paysannerie cambodgienne en 1975. Est-ce qu'il est possible sur une échelle que l'on qualifierait de très bon, bon, moyen, faible Très faible, où vous situerez en 75 ce niveau d'éducation ou d'alphabétisation lowest among uh, young people who have been to school. Now, how many of those young people have been to school in the senior period? Quite a lot of them have been to school. And I was, uh, I must say, surprised to an extent when I was working on the uh, tool slang files to see how literate uh, and uh, literate some of the people were who admitted their education had only been through three grades. Uh, they could write uh, fluently, they, they could type, uh, so it's, it's hard to, to, but they were all peasant background. But certainly the levels of education were not high. Uh, they were uh, perhaps not shameful uh, in terms of Cambodia's resources, but this was not a country where uh, there were enough schools for the growing population, and the further back you got into the uh, countryside, uh, some parts of the country uh, had no education, uh, no educational facilities at all. I'm drawn to the one-line anecdote of Tamok's uh, sister was found by enterprising reporters in uh, 1990 sometime, and she said she'd never seen a uh, European until she was 50 years old. So this is a woman who was living way off the main road. If you get that far off the main road, you also don't have a state primary school, a state high school, or whatever. So the levels of education in the back parts of the country were unavoidably very low, because these people were basically inaccessible. But at a certain level, it was higher than one might expect in terms of, uh, I the only way I could observe that is in the handwriting and literacy capacity of the guards at Tulsang were writing. Uh, the in their autobiography said, I've only been to three grades of school. So after third grade, I could not write as far as they could. So they may have had their education later or something, I can't tell. Je vous remercie, professeur. Toujours dans le cadre de votre audition, le cas numéro 1, je précise le RN Khmer 00-36-15-46, anglais 00-36-14-56, pour le français 00-36-17-20. Vous indiquez, professeur, les gens qui donnaient des ordres étaient accoutumés à les donner. Ceux qui les recevaient étaient accoutumés à obéir. Il n'y avait pas de culture au Cambodge consistant à remettre en cause des ordres reçus d'une personne incarnant l'autorité. Autrement dit, on ne remettait pas en cause un enseignant. En se présentant comme intellectuel, professeur, Pio Sampan, Yang Sari, ont-ils bénéficié d'une aura particulière Uh, I'm not certain what kind of, if Yang uh, Sri uh, uh, enjoyed a particular status, so I have no record of what his, how his, uh, what effect his teachings had on his students. We do know, uh, uh, very interesting, it fits right into your question, that Paul Pot, as a teacher in the same school as Yang Sri, uh, got a very high opinion from his students 
not because he was allowed himself to be questioned, but because he did not bully and dominate the students. He was gentle with them. He listened to them. He was a person that a survivor told me in a very interesting sentence. He was a man when I met him when I was 14. could be my friend for life. Next sentence, he killed my parents. Uh, this was a, 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 an impression this man made of uh, being a non a uh, conventional teacher. Uh, Kiyo Sun uh, as a teacher, I, the reputation I think he had as a teacher was very good. He had an excellent reputation in many, many ways in the pre-revolutionary period as a teacher, as a journalist, as a uh, singularly uncorrupt member of the National Assembly as a conscientious uh, uh, cabinet minister. All these things earned him uh, respect uh, not in the conventional way of the, the kind of respect given uh, automatically to a boss, but respect because his uh, conduct was uh, unusual. Uh, in other words, Cambodians were quick to recognize when someone was behaving in a humane or interested way. But I, did, I still stand by my sentences in, in the sense that this was not the way most authority relationships were conducted. They were conducted in a very authoritative, a very authoritative way without a question of any question of of being uh, allowed to um, talk back. And I should just add that the, the word for obey in Cambodian from the word to command. So it doesn't mean obey in an English sense or obey in a French sense. It means to be commanded. You're in a condition of having a being commanded. That doesn't mean in a position to choose whether you can say yes or no. You've been commanded, you've been told what to do. Prab of the, the two words in command. I think it's, very, I think it's a real, uh, I think it's an important distinction. ສົມຈຶ່ງຈູບໃຫ້ຍັງມີບັນຕໍກິດຈຳນາການສຳນັກການໃຫ້ມົນຕີລັດບານລະກາລົບຮູ້ລດອລກະໄລ